finally wrapped up a case that has been in limbo for two years. What happens when you have a child that was given up for adoption and you're looking for them? Let's say the child was either given up on purpose or your mother took the child and sold it. In this case, that's kind of probably what happened. So long story short, when you do your DNA, you now rely on your biological child doing their DNA or their children or grandchildren if they're old enough. And that's all you've got to work with. When you're looking for your biological father or grandparents, it's easier. You have a lot more to work with and you can narrow it down. But when you're going the other way, it's a shorter window. It's a lot harder. Long story short, they had hired me, put their DNA across all the websites, sorted through their matches, and have been monitoring it ever since. Now, the guy had called his biological mother, had given a name, and other than he was a successful businessman is all he said. From that information, I used the people search engine because this happened after I had started the process. And I found him and I sent him a message on Facebook and I said, hi, I was wondering, are you so-and-so? He said, you got the wrong person. Turns out he wasn't the wrong person. That was him. It was all linked up, everything matched from a person that they had heard from previously. The guy that I found and that guy are the same guy. So I was finally able to close that because I told them, I said, I will wait and I will continue with this until we find him. And long story short, he has now been revealed and I can be done with this case. But boy, that was a long one.